In today's video, we're going to be looking at five creative ways you can use adjustment layers in DaVinci Resolve 19. And I'm going to end off with a pro tip that will blow your mind. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Duan. It's do on to others what you want to want to yourself. And on this channel, you'll find great DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks that you can use in your everyday edit. So the first and most obvious thing that you can use adjustment layers for is if if you want to add an effect to your whole edit so when you're done to your edit you can head over to the effects tab and under effects grab the adjustment layer and drag it onto your timeline now grab that adjustment layer and drag it out over your whole project and once you're done with that you can head over to the color page in the color page head over to the LUT tab and in the LUT tab double click the LUT that you want to apply to your whole project so by double clicking this it will add it to the adjustment layer that you just created head over to the edit tab and now you can see that LUT is applied to your whole project so secondly you can use it to scale up multiple shots on your timeline or if you want to add some movement to your photos. So here on my timeline, I've got a static shot of an interview that I filmed with multiple cuts on them. Now I would want to add a slow zoom over all these clips for dynamics. And if I go in and activate dynamic zoom for each clip, it's going to look really choppy. Instead of doing that, I can simply drag an adjustment layer over all my footage and on my adjustment layer go and activate dynamic zoom so now when i play it back i can see there's a nice zoom without any choppiness thirdly you can use adjustment layers to add some really cool effects to your project so if you want to create this glitch effect on this clip normally what you would do is you would go to your clip and you would cut it up into different sections and then add the glitch effect to different parts of your clip but what if you want to replace this clip with another well, then you will have to cut that clip again and add the glitch effect to those different parts so instead use an adjustment layer to add those effects on and whenever you need to replace a clip you can simply drag that adjustment layer over the other clip next you can use an adjustment layer to add a crop to a section of your project or to your whole project when you want to add a letterbox over a whole project simply drag your adjustment layer onto your timeline stretch out the adjustment layer over the section or over the whole project if that's what you want to do and with the adjustment layer selected activate cropping in your inspector window and simply crop it to the desired amount this is very useful instead of adjusting each clip individually. And also if you need to adjust any framing, you can simply go to that specific clip and just adjust the framing of that clip without affecting the crop. And lastly, you can use an adjustment layer to create epic transitions. So here on my DaVinci Resolve timeline, I've got two clips that I want to add a transition to. And sometimes the DaVinci Resolve standard transitions just doesn't cut it. So the way to create nice transitions that match the look and feel of every project is to just do it yourself. So you can go over to the effects tab here, grab an adjustment layer and drag it onto your timeline. Go to the beginning of your adjustment layer, deselect everything and in the time code bar over here press plus 200 which is 2 seconds so you can cut the rest off and now let's go to the beginning of your adjustment bar and go up again to the time code bar press plus 100 and that will show us the middle of this adjustment clip so you can now simply drag that marker to the middle of a clip and now the effect that I'm going to use today is a magic zoom from Mr. Alex so um, if you don't have this plugin you can download the free version on the Mr. Alex website or you can buy the pro version which is much better and has a lot more features so let's see what this looks like with the magic zoom on here really cool so already it's looking really nice so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just add a directional blur onto this clip 
and let's see what that looks like so what you need to do is add the directional blur go into the effect settings over here i'm just gonna um, strengthen this blur a little bit adjust the angle slightly and now what you want to do is select a keyframe in the middle of this adjustment layer then go to the beginning of this adjustment layer and drag the strength to zero same go to the end of this adjustment layer go to the effects panel and also drag the blur strength to zero so it will go from nothing to a lot of blur and then back to nothing so let's see what that look like now really cool and now we can add something else to just put the cherry on the cake and so what i'm going to add now is a little bit of a flicker effect a flicker edition you can drag that onto the clip and same thing go into your effects panel go to flicker edition and under range you can increase it a little bit and add a keyframe then go to the beginning of your adjustment layer add a keyframe and drag the range to zero and the same to the end of this adjustment layer go to effects flicker edition range zero and let's play it back and see what this looks like very cool and there you go you've got a really nice transition that fits this scene and then for my bonus tip as promised after you've put in all the work to create your perfect adjustment layer with the perfect effect or color grade or transition you can save that adjustment layer to your power bin so that the next time you want to use that edit that grade that transition you can simply drag it from your power bin onto your timeline i hope this video was helpful i'll see you in the next one cheers